Only 178 of these vintage models were ever built, and auto enthusiast Andreas Moser is lucky enough to own one. This BMW 319-1 dates from 1936. He says it's important to keep both hands on the wheel, if only because the vehicle is pretty sensitive when it comes to over or under steering. The BMW 319 debuted in 1934 with a then new 1.9 liter six cylinder engine. It looked identical to its predecessor, the 315 1 Sport, but boasted an additional 15 horsepower. The 319 cost a cool 6,000 Reichsmarks, a princely sum back then, nearly four times what an average worker earned in a year. Andreas says the way the BMW logo is connected to the two grills is typical of BMW. Everything on this car is absolutely original. Here are the lights, which all date to the pre-war period. That's why it's missing a certification seal. Andreas really likes the car's almost open style and what's called a H-style shifter. He stows his tools here. The kit consists largely of original items. He likes the car's contours in particular, especially the way they look when studied from the side. The wheel housings are also covered. They lend an aerodynamic touch that prevents the tires from vibrating. This BMW didn't always glisten the way it does today. Andreas restored it himself and knows every screw and knob. Apparently the vehicle was ripe for restoration because it had been involved in a car accident. As such, many parts were broken. The car had to be completely rebuilt. The frame was set on wooden dollies. He had to bring in an expert to refashion the wood. But that wasn't the hardest part of the restoration. The most demanding part for Andreas was actually examining the engine. One major issue was that back when the car was built, different bearing shells were used in the crankshaft. He didn't want to install any previously used pieces. He wanted instead to use something made of modern materials. The significant restoration work on the engine and the body was worth it. After a total of 14 years working on the BMW, the 3191 today almost looks like a brand new car. Yet it doesn't seem over restored. Prices for a model in such good condition as this one will set you back around a quarter of a million euros. On the weekend, Andreas takes part in vintage car events, and the vehicle isn't spared the wear and tear of such trips. Andreas drives it to such events rather than getting it transported. He wants to enjoy every moment he can at the wheel. He loves the sound of the engine and the views of his surroundings because it's a convertible or a roadster. You can appreciate nature and speed more in a car like this than you would in one of today's modern cars. He took the car to a BMW veteran club event in the Austrian Alps. The cars embark on a 300 kilometer journey. Any BMW older than 1981 is eligible to take part in the drive. Stars big and small from BMW editions of the past took part, including the legendary BMW Isetta. The 3191 runs with the best of BMW's many vintage models. The car delivers 55 horsepower through its straight six cylinder engine, and it weighs a mere 780 kilograms. Top speed is 135 kilometers per hour. The 319 is considered the first sports car for the road that was also used on the racetrack. But the car is not perfect, and there are some detailing issues that Andreas Moser has noticed in his work on the car. For example, a problem with the gas tank makes driving up hills problematic. 
Andreas explains how the production mistake is visible. The tank is trapezoid shaped. This is the line connecting the oil filter, and then this connects to the pump. When he drives up a hill, the tank rotates. And as a result, the gas pools at the rear of the tank and doesn't flow the way it should. If you're unlucky, he adds, a steep incline can cause the gas flow to cease and the engine to turn off. Andreas knows every wrinkle of his BMW. His tour and the drive back home went off without a hitch. He tries to clock up at least 8,000 kilometers every year with his 319-1 because, like many of his fellow vintage car buffs, he feels these cars should see the open road as often as possible.